Hey there everybody, I thought I would let you know some of the stuff that's been happening with the channel. First off, the name has changed. I have finally moved the channel over to an actual proper name, and we have a brand page on Google+, Resort Central. I'm also now fully associated with the Gamers Bay channel. So I've been doing videos for them. I do a series on there called an Old Gamer Plays, and I've uploaded a few videos to them. I'll be also uploading a few videos to another channel that belongs to Gamers Bay as well, including my channel here. Uh, my own personal channel, I will be uploading mostly personal stuff there. I still have, you know, the personal channel under my name, Michael Heaney. I don't have any... Uh, subscribers not right now because I really don't have anything there yet be moving a few things there that are on Zorch Central like I have some of my cats and everything um, it's mostly going to be used for personal stuff and may create another channel for other videos but Zorch Central will be specifically for Chloe the Professor and the fan fiction stuff I'm debating whether or not to create another channel specifically for the spiritual stuff or talking about, you know, the Law of Attraction and everything there. I'm still debating on whether or not to do that because there has, there's a plethora of material out there already on this so that you can you know, get out there and find out what it's all about and find out whether or not, you know, it suits you, if it helps you or not, if you're ready for it. So I wanted to let you know what's going on. Um, your subscriptions, if you're a subscriber to the channel, those won't change. Uh, you'll see that it comes from not my name, but from Zorch Central for now on. I also encourage you to uh, check out Gamers Bay, the Gamers Bay channel, and the Gamers Bay community. I'll be creating a Zorch Central community um, soon. I'd like to get some, uh, you know, input from you guys to find out, you know, if you if you'd like to have a Zorch Central community to go to and chat and and uh, talk about gaming news and everything or um, better yet I can use Gamers Bay specifically as the community for Zorch Central instead of having a Zorch Central community on Google Plus I and mean, um, we don't have a presence on Facebook because basically you can't get any exposure on Facebook. Facebook makes you buy or pay to get exposure and a lot of companies are leaving Facebook altogether and going over to other social media sites usually um, to Google Plus. There's a lot of companies moving over to Google Plus. They just, they just can't get exposure on Facebook because of what they're doing over there. And so that's why Gamers Bay isn't there. That's why my channel doesn't have a, a page there. It's because you, you just can't get exposure. Unless you pay Facebook a lot of money, they're not going to, you know, put links up so that you can get um, visitors to your page. You can get new followers on your, uh, on your Facebook pages. So... Again, the new name, Zort Central. I'm fully associated with um, Gamers Bay. And let me know if you want either a Zort Central community or if you want to uh, go to Gamers Bay. I really rather prefer everybody go to Gamers Bay because it's a great community. I mean, we've been, it's been around for a while. We've been building it up some more to make it a friendly community. You know, there's there's virtually no trolls there. You can go to other gaming communities on Google Plus, and the place is rife with trolls. I mean, it and there's hardly any moderation at all. And if the and if and some of the communities that do have moderators, they're self-centered jerks, basically. But in our community, I'm a moderator, a senior moderator there, and we have a few other moderators there, and we are courteous. We use our, you know, we we use our authority with great responsibility. We don't just do whatever we want to anyone we want. We follow rules, 
We don't just kick people out for any arbitrary reasons. You know, the only reason why we would kick people out or ban somebody is because they did something really bad. You know, if we do remove something from the community, a post, we explain why. I, I always give an explanation of why. If we allow a certain number of Let's Play videos in Gamers Bay, a certain quota in Gamers Bay to help give people exposure. You know, if they're going to come in and just dump their posts and leave no descriptions at all and just have a bunch of links at the top just above the video, yeah, we're going to remove those. Those are spam. And we get a lot of people posting that stuff. Under Google's analytics, that, that is not going to get your, you know, your channel exposure. That's going to penalize your channel. And in fact, Google might even delete your channel because of it. They might actually remove it. So you have to be careful with what you do, if you, especially if you're going to be monetizing videos, monetizing gameplay videos, which is another thing that's changing. The Cloning Professor videos are going to be monetized from now on also. So, you know, you're going to get um, ad videos and the cards. I'm not going to put any of those banner ad videos that cover the video. Just, um, you know, the skippable, the skippable ads and the, the cards. And the cards, you know, they'll have pertinent informa information in there, maybe some surveys and, and useful things to the gaming community there. But in the Google, in the um, the Google Plus community in Gamers Bay, you know, if we remove posts, we explain why it's removed. If people are dumping gameplay videos in there, we'll, we'll remove them. Uh, if let's say we reach the quota of the day of how many we uh, will allow, we'll direct them to our sister community which is the gamers video archive and the gamers video archive is specifically for let's play videos and people do the same thing there they dump a bunch of let's play videos with nothing but links in the description and no description of what the video is about or anything and sometimes there's not even commentary in the video so we treat you better, we have better members, there's not as many jerks, you know, every community's got its problems, but we have fewer. We don't have trolls in our community or anything causing problems. So, you know, I encourage you, you know, check it out if you're looking for a community that is, if you're tired of the drama in the community that you're in now, come and check out Gamers Bay. And I will keep you posted for anything uh, new. I'll let you know when I start uploading videos to this other new channel. Um, I can't even forget the name of it. It's a, it's a new one. I'm not the manager on that one yet. i am be made a manager on that one soon. Uh, that will mostly be Far Cry videos on that channel. But, um... I will be releasing more on Gamers Bay soon. And, you know, the schedule for Chloe the Professor will stay the same. You'll get a new episode every Friday or possibly Saturday, depending on whether or not my ISP decides to go blah, blah, on me or not, which it has a tendency to do quite often. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And please hit like. If you like this video, and if you have any suggestions for uh, future Cloying the Professor episodes, I'll leave them in the comments below. If you have any questions for the monthly mailbag episode that we usually have, the series finale, or no, the, the season finale for Cloying the Professor preempted the mailbag for this month. So if you have any questions for the next mailbag for, you know, August, uh, leave them in this in the thread here or you can post them on gamers bay right
Thanks for watching.